Welcome to the workface. If you're after a chess workshop, you're at the right place. I couldn't have said it better myself. What is chess? A battle of good versus evil, a tactical challenge, almost like warfare with little ditty pieces. Steve Dog is going to teach you how to play this game of the ages and he's going to teach you right now. This isn't for the total novice. This is for somewhat, someone, some of you who know the very basics of chess. So which way, for example, the horsey moves or if you can move your prawns forward or sideways. You've got to have those basics. And then after you've got that, this is where the um, this video is going to allow you to compete to what I would call a very good level. Yeah, that's right. So let's get on and show you the three fundamental points to improve your chess game and make you a general on the chess battlefield. Let's do it right now. Right, there are three elements to the game. Element one is called, and I've renamed some traditional chess strategies to give you that stealth so that people don't know what you're talking about if you mention it in conversation, for example. So what is strategy one? Strategy one is to adopt the Fanny Chadwick principle. Strategy number two is to achieve one-eyed Joe. And strategy number three is to then enjoy a hog fest. So folks, what I have got then is an app. I'm gonna show you the app now over there on the screen. And I'm gonna have a game right now on here. Um, let's turn the sound down on that one, but I have a game right here. And I'm gonna go play against the AI um, there are up to seven levels. I'm going to go in at level four, but I'm going to play as white. I've never played this on level four before. Levels. So this technique, these techniques, this tool kit I've given you, will not necessarily allow you to be a chess master, but you will notice pretty soon how it will allow you to beat level four of level seven chess. Let's get into the game right away. So here we are right away. So I'm going to now start building the Fanny Chadwick part of the game right away. So I'm going to move initially forward above the king, two up to control the middle of the board. Um, and now this is what we call developing the board. So now I'm going to bring a knight in to support that piece. I think you'll agree that it's now looking very good. This guy might want to engage in petty trading. We don't do that. So next up, I'm now going to develop the board further. So I'm going to bring in another knight. No, I'm not. Another knight in there like that. And right away, you can see I've got the knight protected by that prawn, as I like to call them. So nothing wrong there. And I'm going to now begin advancing the bishops, which will add further strength to my situation. So now what you'll see, oh, hello, he's just taken my... Knight. So I'm going to take him back with a um, bishop. I'm not worried about petty tit for tat. But as you can see, I'm now controlling the middle area of that chess ball, which is the Fanny Chadwick has been achieved. OK, next we're going to go for the one eyed Joe, which is the castling move, which I've opened up down here. And there I've just done the castling. That's one eyed Joe achieved. So now we've got a Fanny Chadwick with a one eyed Joe variation why do people castle i don't know but it's something that looks great and that's why i like to do it anyway on we go now we're going now we've got to develop the 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 um the board further and at the moment you'll see that the first uh, the um as i just tapped on there the first um bishop can patrol diagonally either way ahead of him and we're going to bring another bishop into the forry and now we've got double bishop um, patrolling that area. Of course, what he's now done is he's um, he's moved his blooming prawn in and he can now take me back, can't he? 
Blimmin' heck. I can run away with that one, but I'll be taken by the other. That's no good. Blimmin' Nora. What am I going to do here? I am going to... I've lost a piece and I've lost a key piece here. So I'm going to take him there. He's going to take me back there. Not a good exchange for me. Hey ho. Let's fall back into a defensive Fanny Chalwick position. See how he gets out of that one. Now we're going to push on with that prawn to pressurise his other prawn. Now he's coming into the play. You see, now he's bringing out that knight. Let's get in and take that one and see how... See how much he likes them apples. Not very much, admittedly. So, now, <sighs> third part of the game, we look for hanging pieces. This is where we play effectively Hogfest. So just when you thought I was struggling, we go into the Hogfest mode. The Hogfest mode is basically pick off any low, low hanging fruit. So I need to Reinforce my positions and attack the hanging pieces, which are pieces which are not being guarded by others. So a quick look around the board there and you'll see that there aren't any hanging pieces on his side. But the blooming loads of them are mine. So I need to strengthen the situation a tad. That's what I'm going to do here. So what I am aiming to do here is... Let's bring that castle, as I like to call it, into play. He's done his castle. He's played a hot. He's played a um, one-eyed Joe. Obviously, he's beginning to try and pick up some technique from me, and I can't say I blame him. Right. So next up, we're now going to strengthen this position in here by moving that guy forward there. Right. He's now trying to back up his. Queen. This is a tactic you sometimes see in these sort of games, but a lot of people would now be saying, Steve Dog, you're losing, you're getting your ass handed to you. Well, I would say piffle. That's what I would say, and I don't say that lightly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some real pressure to this guy. Let's go in there and try that, see, see what that happens. This is going to provoke an, an immediate reaction here. He's going to try and get my bishop down there, but... Let's get in the mix. Let's get in the mix. There. That to me was a good exchange. No, he took my bishop, didn't he? Mm, that wasn't such a good exchange. Right, okay. Um, on we go. Okay, mm, I think he's trying to come around the blind side. This is a tactic that many people will try and do when they're playing against me because I'm obviously very able at this game. So what we're going to do is he's going to try to come down the right hand side in this sort of area here. We can block that, folks. We have techniques to deal with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to push on there that will that will disadvantage him massively he's now trying to go around the side of me there which is a quite an interesting move unconventional but quite interesting and what we're going to do is we're going to move into this position here that castle of mine is backed up right now we're going to move into this position so we're now providing lateral pressure that's right, lateral pressure is what we're now providing, which is something that this guy is definitely not going to like. And now I'm going to play the old whammy in there, as I call it. Right, now he's got the queen on the run. This is exactly what we wanted to do. We needed to move that queen on and show him that there's weakness within his movement. Something he didn't allow for, something we very much did allow for. So what we're going to do now is... We're going to adopt another strategy, which is called run away from their queen. It's something 
that works well in life, I believe. So let's just move this dude down here and just retreat for the moment. It's a it's a tactical maneuver more than a cowardly runny away typey thingy. Okay, we're gonna move this one into here. He might take me. He's gone that way, hasn't he? I don't I didn't even notice what he took then. Where's he going now? He's gonna try and come in here and get me in check, isn't he? Try that. Ouch, 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 ouch. Right, that is a tactical flaw. I can now take that one back there. If he takes me, I've got his queen. What's he doing going over that way? It's a swine, isn't he? Oh, look at this, look. No, what he's going to do is he's going to move his queen down there and he's got me in checkmate. The lipsticks. Right, I can hide behind here. I can play my queen at there, take the queen. I'm only delaying the inevitable then. Don't like it. Now he's going to come down. <sighs> Catch you guys next time on the Chesh Schmesh flip side. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs>